brand new tank engine was racing across the island of Sodor. He was very excited, and he didn't want to be late. Right on chime, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas and Percy looked at the big tank engine. He was very smart. This is Arthur, said Sir Topham Hatt. He's here to shunt trucks and pull freight. Nice to meet you, puffed Arthur politely. And he's got a spotless record, Sir Topham Hatt added. Eh, uh, what's a spotless record? whispered Percy. It means he's never been naughty or made a mess, replied Thomas. The three engines were soon at work. Thomas and Percy were bumping freight cars. They knew this was naughty, but they were having fun. Join in, Arthur, said Thomas. No, thank you, wished the new engine. He'd never been naughty before. Arthur's first job was to push a trainload of fruit to market. The freight car started to sing. A root toot toe, we want to go. The fruit's going off, cause you're too slow. How rude, huffed Arthur. This gave Thomas a naughty idea. Sir Topham Hatt doesn't like the freight car singing, said Thomas. You must stop them. Thank you, said Arthur. I will. Arthur was glad he could keep the freight cars in order. He'll never stop the freight cars from singing, laughed Thomas. Arthur chuffed cheerfully through the countryside. Soon the freight car started singing again. Chug, chug, chuff, you tug gan huff, but you're so rusty you can't even puff. Stop singing, huffed Arthur. Freight cars should do as they are told. The foolish freight cars were cross. If they couldn't sing, they would teach Arthur a lesson instead. We'll show him, they giggled. He can't push us around. Arthur struggled over bridges and he huffed and puffed through tunnels. He came over the top of a big hill. You can't catch us, laughed the freight cars. Wee! But there was trouble ahead. Duck had stopped at the crossing at the bottom of the hill. Arthur's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Squashed fruit flew everywhere. <coughs> Arthur was upset. His spotless record was ruined. Beep, beep! What a mess, puffed Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt was very annoyed. Wash up in dear. The freight cars were singing. I told them to stop, but they made me go too fast. Please, sir, it's my fault. Thomas told Sir Topham Hatt what he had done. Arthur, it's uh, fruitless for me to say more, but Thomas, you must help clear up this mess. <laughs> Harvey arrived with the breakdown crane. He could see there was a lot of work to be done. Everyone worked hard, and Thomas took the loaded freight cars away. That evening, Arthur was having the squashed fruit cleaned out of his funnel. I'm sorry I played a trick on you, said Thomas. Thanks for owning up to it, replied Arthur. Maybe spotless records are made to be broken, smiled Thomas. And then mended again, finished Arthur, just like friendships. <laughs>